Did you hear about the troopers being arrested for for passing commercial drivers on their CDL test and they, they was taking bribes yeah. for it? Yeah. The story out of Boston says two current and two former Massachusetts state police troopers were among six people charged Tuesday in a scheme to allegedly take bribes, including a new snowblower and a driveway. A driveway? A new snowblower and a driveway in exchange for giving passing scores on commercial driving tests. How can you get a new driveway? But, well, if somebody knows how to pave a driveway, it's called bartering. Okay, pave a driveway. Okay. Okay, I, I, I got you. So, I got so, you. so, so, but here's my thing. How's the state trooper giving you your license? They don't give you your license. Well, I, well, let me explain there, dear driver. Once you get your... I, I guess uh, go to school part. Well, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let, let, let me look at this from a broad standing. Maybe they're skipping the school. They're skipping the program altogether and then just but going directly. Well, do no. not issue licenses. Well, no, yeah, yeah, no, they go to the DMV, which is all intertwined over there. So... They will have to go and take the driving test with a state trooper, right? So, but no, yes, that has to be with a DMV no, person. No, a state trooper. Where when, they do that at? Okay, when I went to go, well, for me, when I took my driver's driver's test, I was with an instructor from an accredited driving school to get to get my driving a permit and everything and then I would take all of that and I would go to the DMV give it give them the paperwork and then they will turn yeah transfer it into my license if you did not go through an accredited like driving school and just say before that you have to go to school before February 7th of 20 something I forget what it was you could just take a truck Go to the D. Go to the DMV uh, driving testing facility, and a state trooper that's there would get in the truck with you, and would uh. test drive with you to pass the test or whatever. So yes, uh, I ain't you, never heard of such a thing. Yeah, a state trooper would do that, but here in Boston, Massachusetts, they will be in the truck with these potentials they will flunk some kind of way but yet they will come back and say well hey if i give you a snowblower and pave your driveway can you then give me my cdl now when you look at it that way you giving cdls to people that's dangerous right uh -huh. you you giving the cdls to unexperienced drivers that literally okay that literally got in the truck maybe for the first time when they went to, to come and and drive with you. So back up in Boston, Massachusetts. I, man, you could not get me to drive in that part of the world. The troopers are accused of falsifying records and giving preferential treatments to at least 17 drivers from May 2019 to January 2023 who were taking their CDL driver's license or CDL tests even when the drivers failed at the skills test the trooper passed them and communicated that they have done so with a text and a code word golden. Some troopers even joked in the text message how badly a driver had performed on the test, according to the indictment. 
I wonder who was the whistleblower on that one. Social media, the way it is right now, I, I don't care what it is. Everybody's a whistleblower. Everybody's a whistleblower. Somebody had to come on social media and be like, well, in Boston, Massachusetts, this a state trooper mm-hmm. gave me my license, y'all. I'm out here making money with y'all. I didn't even have to go to school or pass, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And Boston, Massachusetts attorneys seeing that video. And, of course, you probably said the person's name or the the agency where you got it from. So, of course, they're going to send their own undercover person up in there. And then there you have it. Congratulations. Boom. Everybody's self snitching on each other on social media, man. Social media has made it social media has made it so easy for you guys to self snitch on each other. It's crazy. It's crazy. Who is the you guys that you keep saying? Hey. Because you exclude yourself out of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. who is the you guys? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah. not included in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys. Not not you. No. Not not you per se, but I'm just saying, not me. I look, I spent over five thousand dollars for my CDL. I did it the right way. Don't get me wrong, I was a hustler back in the day. I get it. I, I get it. These state troopers up in Boston, Massachusetts. They trying to figure out some way to get in some mesh, make some extra money on the side. And they they did that because I'm sure they didn't do this just for a paved driveway and a snowblower and, and some landscaping deal. I'm sure they got money out of the deal, too. But leave it up to a, a social media self snitching type person. It all came. It all came crashing down. We, we looking at. Jane, we looking at 2019, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We looking at four years of inexperienced drivers out here, bro. Now what they got to do once once they go through this court thing, maybe I don't know if they're going to get some jail time or something like that, but after the case is over with, they're going to have to go back and look at everybody that that they put their name on for they CDDs. It, yeah. CDs. CD. Yeah. And now they should. And now you got these people from night from 19 from 2019. Let's just say the people in 2019 that wasn't experienced, but now up in 2023, they are like they went uh-huh. through several companies to get their experience. Now they got their experience. Now they're good to go and they're good drivers out here. But because of how they got their license, now their license get rejected. Now they have to go back, probably have to go through the whole school program and go through the whole testing. Well, but, but let's take it a step further. They could be liable for the cheating and get a, a mark against their license to not be able to be licensed. That's a possibility. That is. I haven't thought of it that way. Yeah, because you cheated. did not earn your license the right way. And that officer didn't do it by himself. You had to partake in the exchange in order for there to be an exchange. Oh yeah, of course. Be just as liable. Somebody was in their ear telling them how much money that they could make in trucking, and that's why they did what they did. But that's why you should be just as liable as that officer. So back up in Boston, Massachusetts, in short, as is alleged in the indictment, CDLs were for sale. Acting U.S. Attorney Joshua told reporters that Troopers were bribed with free gifts to pass applicants, no matter how they performed on the test. Sergeant Gary, don't know his last name, 58 of Strawton, and Trooper Joel Rogers, 54 of Bridgewater, were arrested Tuesday. Calvin, 63 of Halifax, and Perry, 63 of Warham. God damn, these some 
to eat these some older dudes. Y'all should know better. Where are you y'all, at y'all that should... you're able to sit here and read this stuff? Y'all, y'all should know better, bro. Bro, yeah. y'all should know better. Well, they wasn't that age at the time, though. We we talking about four years. Well, five. This what twenty four. Okay. So we talking about four or five, five years ago. Yeah. So they five. Still old enough to know better. But yeah, you should still be old enough to know better. Of your career. That's of your career, your pension. Well, you figure, you you figure probably they they probably got the first bribe through, and they realized how easy it was and how much money they can get out of it. So. This this well, wasn't they saved it. This wasn't a one man operation. So of course he had to bring in three wow. other people. So at the time, one was fifty five, the other one was forty nine, the other one was like fifty. Well, the other two was like maybe about fifty seven. Fifty seven? Three? Yeah, fifty seven. Whatever it was. Man. Whatever it was. Well, it was lucrative. They they managed to get away with it for four saved. years. Or five I hope years. they save. Well, I hope they I save hope they too. Save I hope they save too. I hope they put it in somebody else's name so that they don't they Prob- can't go to the bank account and, and take all the money. Probably not. But yeah. But I'm sure it got spent. I'm sure it got spent. Especially if they got, got wives sp- and kids. Of course. That money got- got- of course it got spent. This like this this like set it off where where old girl spent up all the money. I want some more motherfucking money. And what happened to all the money? Now what you gonna do? Rob another goddamn bank. What the fuck is y'all thinking? No, I spent it all. <laughs> God damn it, man. Don't you supposed to save some of it at least? So that y'all don't have to go? Just to ration it. Ration it out. Oh, you say ration. Man, we went to the, oh my God. We went to the army saying ration. Back, in, back in Boston, Massachusetts. The last two uh, 63-year-olds were both retired state troopers, but they were arrested in Florida this past Monday. All four of them faced more than 70 counts on a range of charges, including conspiracy to falsify records, extortion, and making false statements. Massachusetts Boston is not a, you know. Two others, though. Eric, can't pronounce his last name, 47 of Boston, and Scott Camera, 42 of why you want to cut over? Were also implemented in the scheme. All four of them made their initial appearance this past Tuesday afternoon, and they all pleaded not guilty. I don't understand why people who are guilty plead not guilty. Because that they they because need because if they, you go with they need their day in court, of course. Plus, that's what their lawyers say. If you plead not guilty then that gives their lawyers some wiggle room to get a deal, pretty much. They know that you're guilty. But if guilty. you plead guilty for a deal, like if you plead guilty, you just, to me, I have always thought you get a better deal because you're, you're, you're owning your, your, no, your, no. If you, your if you, shit. If you, if you plead, if you, if you plead guilty, you, you're going to get hit with the maximum, whatever the law acquires. But if you plead not guilty, you're able to, to nagle maybe a deal or something that's that's why that's why unless you plead guilty yeah all right so the two of the guys were expected to make an appearance at a later date one of the guys who is accused of helping four state troopers get commercial driver's license he's accused of accepting a new driveway worth $10,000, a snowblower valued at $2,000, and a $750 granite mailbox. Bro went on here. Granite said, mailbox? Yeah, granite mailbox. Bro went on here and said, yo, I, I just need some housework. You don't have to give me no money. <laughs> like my, 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 wife, my wife been bitching at me about getting this shit fixed yeah 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 so you so i guess one of these guys or maybe a few of these guys probably had their own builder business or diy or home business or something like that 
for him to get a ten for him to get a ten thousand dollar a driveway. Yeah. Back in Boston, Massachusetts, this person says, "Let me be clear: those named in the indictment that have lost their moral compass, and they will be held accountable. Their actions, however." should not tarnish the reputation of an entire institution especially for the overwhelming majority of the public servants in the massachusetts state police and fire service who serve the citizens of our commonwealth with pride and honor brian williams the president of the state police association said that they were disappointed to learn about the indictments. As the newly elected president of the association, I take these allegations seriously and urge everyone to wait until a thorough examination of the facts is public in order to ensure that the case is adjudicated in a fair and impartial manner. In an in a update, as a part of the 74 count indictment, six defendants were charged with three counts of a conspiracy to falsify the records, three counts of conspiracy to commit extortion, three counts of extortion, six counts of honest service mail fraud. Ooh, mail fraud. That's federal. 31 counts of falsification of records and 27 counts of falsification statements and one count of perjury. Somebody lied. Somebody lied. In short, as the allegations in this indictment, the CDLs were for sale and troopers were bribed with free goods to pass the applicants no matter how they performed on the test of course the defendants reportedly used the word golden in a message as a code to them passing okay so now that we're all caught up the state or let me rephrase that back to boston massachusetts where the state has now identified 26 individuals who were given the golden ticket without passing the skills test as a part of the scheme. As of Thursday, February 1st, Massachusetts Registry of Motor Vehicles announced that, drum roll, that all 26 individuals had their CDL privileges revoked. Revolt. Downgrade. And this is after years because this has been going on since 2019. By this time, if the guy's still driving, their skills and their experience should be a little bit better. But now since they CDLs had been revoked, removed, downgraded. Now they had to go through all the process all From over the again. From the start. Wow. Does that mean they gotta does that mean they gotta go re go to school? And if so, they gotta they gotta pay for the school because up in Boston, Massachusetts, if I'm not mistaken, some of the schools up there is expensive. I don't know. Like like around ten thousand dollars expensive. Jesus Christ. If they want to keep driving, they gonna have to do it the legit way. Wow, twenty six individuals are no longer but permitted. That serves them right. Are no longer permitted to drive or operate a commercial vehicle, and their license have been downgraded to a Class D license. They He's are a dummy. They are unable to obtain a commercial driver's license in the future. Ooh, 
they oh out going through the proper channel man they just they they just they just pulled the rug and what was this Get five years that, oh my god supposed to supposed the company that they're driving for probably had maybe like two three maybe four of them guys and all of a sudden 25 percent of their workforce workforce has been cut where you get 25 percent from I'm, I'm just saying don't, don't throw out random numbers stick to what you know they can't take the test they can't retake the test and they're not able to drive or operate any commercial vehicle wow that's crazy that's what you get start comes the light the rmv is not aware of any motor vehicle crashes of the identified 26 individuals after obtaining a commercial license at issue but that that still remains to be seen because they still have more investigating to do i'm assuming yes 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 they do yes they do because if they do find that any of those 26 individuals have been involved in any form of DOT reportable or or any other type of reportable accident, especially if it includes another vehicle, they might they might get to go to jail with them popo. Levy's office is still working to identify other CDL holders who may have been involved in the bribery scheme. So you think about it, it's quite possible that any drivers who were signed off by any of those officers could have worked for a company that is now closed, you know, and may be working elsewhere. They could have gone to a school, possibly, that may no longer be open. So it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna present a, a little bit of a, a challenge. But the one thing about the DMV is you can track them down. As long as that license is, is, is valid, you, you're going to track them down. That's what that DAC report is all about. And if the, if the companies report like they're supposed to, they'll be able to track them. Man, 26. And maybe, and don't, and don't maybe more. About the, maybe yeah, more. But yeah. as of right now, they identified 26 of them. And man that's that's your whole livelihood your cdl is your livelihood when you really think about it but if you were willing to risk your livelihood to get a cdl the wrong way then you should have done so knowing that there could possibly be consequences down the line they did something wrong they consciously did something wrong. Therefore, anytime you do something wrong, you should always have in the back of your mind that someday this might catch up to you. And what? when it does, you need to be prepared to suffer the consequences. They didn't. When you think about it, they they thought that it was a good yeah, idea. Criminal, that, no criminal thinks they're going to get caught. Well, no criminal ever thinks they're going to get caught. A, a good criminal. A good narcotics agent have narcotics in his butt <laughs> what are you gonna smoke that nope you are feels that he don't get caught but somehow some way somebody self snitched or somebody happened to say a name and that name just d have a domino effect mm -hmm. that's that's what that name wow. does it, it it might have a domino effect i don't feel bad for none of them involved Considering what most people, what most drivers have to go through to get their CDL, to find a job, and to be able to stay out here on this road, I don't feel bad for them. Should have did it the right way. You say should have did it the right way. If I got to do it the right way, you should have to do it the right way. Big G's got it locked.